Alright, what's going on guys? Try back again here to bring you another video. This one's going to be talking about the Avengers 2. We got uh, news, uh, the chairman for um, Disney that owns Marvel now, if you didn't know. Uh, Bob Iger who said that uh, pretty much uh, Josh Whedon signed on to write and direct Avengers 2. Um, now, will he do all the writing himself? I don't know, but directing, he'll probably do all himself. Uh, a lot of times, you know, the directors and stuff, they'll they'll be signed on to write, but they'll have another writer, and then they'll, just like he kind of did with the first script, I'm assuming it'll probably be similar type thing, where they already had a script, and then he just basically went over it and made some changes to it and did things that, you know, he wanted to uh, do that he thought would improve the script, which is basically just him taking the script, making it more fun, writing in a bunch of jokes and tongue-in-cheek stuff, and, and making it clever and um, all that, you know, break break some walls, break the fourth wall, that kind of stuff, and just have some fun. Well, maybe not break the fourth wall, but you guys understand what I'm saying. All that type of stuff, where it sort of pokes fun at itself, that type of thing. Um, that's like his, like, thing, man. You know, the Avengers 1, I, I think if he was not involved with the project, you wouldn't have had a lot of those, you know, really funny jokes, uh, like with the Hulk and uh, uh, Iron Man joking with Thor, all these, just lots of different little little touches, little touches, little touches. Uh, it's good stuff, good stuff. So, The Avengers 2, I'm, I'm really excited for it. It looks like probably, I'm assuming, now there's no official date yet, so don't take my word for this, but I think they'll get it done probably in about um, 2015, probably summer 2015. Um, that would give them, yeah, I think that makes sense, because if, if they've already got him on to to do it, signed and everything, and the first one was such a success, I imagine they'll probably have another one in another two or three years. 2014, I'd love to see it in 2014, but I don't think they'll be able to get it done in time, because they've got other pro uh, projects working on, stuff like that, a lot of actors involved. I think 2015, probably the earliest. Um, Maybe 2016, although that would be, I don't know. I, I'd like to see it in, in, in a few years. You know, uh, four years, that's quite a while. I think I'm going to put my money on 2015. Should it be good? I think it will be really good. Um, Josh Whedon, I think, is uh, is a great writer just in general. He wrote uh, a couple arcs on uh, X-Men uh, that were really good. New X-Men, uh, you could call it. And just really great. And you can tell his style, like, you know, just the way that, the characters speak and poke fun at, at the story and just it's just really uh, a unique uh, type of style that he brings that uh, pretty much nobody else does really uh, also too another good thing about it is that if he's going to be directing it as well it'll have pretty much the same feel as the first Avengers movie which is good because a lot of times when you switch directors and stuff like that it can really cause a lot of mayhem like for example Brian Singer who directed the first two X-Men movies then left for the third one. And uh, I forget the name of the director who came in. I'd have to look it up. But uh, X3 obviously was a fucking disaster. And, uh, you know, it just, it just breaks the mold. And um, it, you get a, a steady, you know, person there who's going to be uh, front-running it, like a, like a director, this kind of stuff, Brian Singer or Josh Whedon. And um, you should probably hold on to him. You know, if, if they do it, then all the movies that they create under that banner will feel like one solid you know overarching story so you could have like if he if he wants to do it and avengers 2 is a success which it will it will be for sure <clears throat> maybe they could do an avengers 3 and it would all just feel like one big long you know uh story cohesive story so good news pretty good news uh, you always like to hear that uh you know kind of thought he'd probably do it anyway but you never know because a lot of times directors can do something or people will work on something and then they'll decide, okay, I did that, I want to move on, that's it. Uh, and I mean, maybe if we can get through a, if they can get through a second one, uh, maybe even he'll do a third one. I mean, that'd be cool, have a trill Avengers trilogy, maybe even a fourth one. Okay, that's pushing, it's probably not going to happen. But I, I could see a comeback for a third one too after the second one. Uh, and that'd be good because then they'd all have the same feel, they'd all have the same sort of style. Be a lot of fun. Anyway, that's it for this video, guys. Let me know what you think about Josh Whedon directing the Avengers and writing the Avengers 2. Later, guys. Peace.